anyone know what this is? It's okay if you don't know, because I certainly didn't. How about this? What does this do? Why was it built? I'll give you something a little easier. How about this record player? I bet some of you are wondering whether you can play your parents' old Michael Jackson vinyls on this record player. <laughs> but actually, this is not a record player. This is a drawing machine that uses digital logic to move a pen and turntable and endless permutations according to a program that's been built into it. It's a mouthful, right? I'm not here to ask you questions you can or cannot answer. But I am here to tell you about passionate high school students that are building some of the most amazing things we've ever seen, and no one notices. <laughs> I'm here to tell you about a small education tech company here in Rochester that's geared for high school science, technology, engineering, and math students to showcase their most groundbreaking projects. And I'm going to explain to you how and why. Now, these are students that are building really cool things. They can take a nuts and bolts project that they're working on in school, and three weeks later, six weeks later, six months later, they can come up with something like this. And for those of you who think this is just a girl with her toy tank, you're in for a nice surprise. Actually, this is someone here within our school district who built this and has a very complicated engineering skill set and who could probably outsmart a lot of people in this room. My experience in college admissions and counseling, I worked with a lot of these students building incredible things, not only in their classrooms and their science labs, but their garages and backyards. How do you leverage the projects that these students are working on? So they're getting into schools like MIT, RIT, U of R optics program. And once they're in these schools building even more fascinating things like sending rovers to Mars or assisting in Felix Baumgartner's highest man freefall right through Red Bull, how do you leverage those projects so students are getting internships at co-op programs at the finest high-tech companies in the world? Now, what you see here is currently the way that some students document their work, right, in binders, and these binders will never leave the classroom wall. Some will go a step further and use sites like Facebook, right, to show some of their friends the pictures of their work. They'll go on YouTube to upload a video of their robotics project, maybe on Tumblr or Blogger to write about it. But there still really isn't this online hub where a lot of these students can interact with one another, collaborate on the most intricate projects, right? From a student in California working on a robot, talking to the guy in Florida, how to get from step two to step three on a particular project. Some of them don't even know how to start <clears throat> archiving and organizing their work the moment they step in their freshman year in high school to the moment they leave college. And most importantly, how do, we, how do we get these students in front of colleges that are looking to recruit top technical talent and even companies out there that are looking for that? And so we've been talking to colleges around the country and they're telling us they're having a tough time finding these students. Where are the women engineers? Where are the minority engineers? Where are the engineers in general? Right? Uh, universities are also telling us that it's hard to collaborate within their own students. How do you connect the students on campus with faculty and alumni? So if artists can create portfolios, right? They can feature their drawings, their sculptures, their paintings, photography. Why can't STEM students, right? Science, technology, engineering, and math. And that's exactly what Gradfly does. We are a portfolio and discovery platform for a lot of these students can archive their work and showcase it to the world. Now, what you see here is a, um, the user interface for a portfolio. A student like Carla Jane Puckett, who's one of our beta testers, will come on the site and show everything that she's truly passionate about, whether it's robotics, pneumatics, optics. And here what you see, the main interaction are the projects that she's uploading in a visual way. Think of it almost like a visual LinkedIn for nerds and geeks, right? <laughs> but, on, on, on Gradfly, it's not only the projects, right? You have people who are viewing these projects. If you take a look at uh, the project up there, the AP Physics one on the left-hand side, you have over 1,600 people who have viewed this project. And these could be peers, teachers, experts. Think about for a second what that does to a student, considering a path in science and technology, just knowing that that many people are, are interested. And we go a step further and help them by connecting them to a college through an algorithm that we've created. And we're not just a, a Flickr or a photo album for these students, right? We're helping the student tell their story. What did that project look like at the very beginning, right? The small nits and bolts I was talking about earlier, all the way through its final stages. And 
tell me a little bit about that project. What went into it? Inspire me. And so we know how students use iPhones, iPads, mobile, any sort of mobile devices, and they're using these devices to capture their work. Now, how do we know all of this? Well, for the past year, we've spent our time talking to hundreds of students across Western New York, mostly Buffalo, Rochester, Syracuse, Albany, Ithaca. Right? We have a lot of talent here through schools and companies. We've spoken to students, their parents, counselors, admission officers, even headhunters that are looking to recruit technical talent. And you know what? No matter what, <laughs> the students that we work with, the value is always going to be right back to the student, the nine million STEM students in the country with their millions of projects that they're building and the millions of supporters who appreciate this community, who appreciate the innovation, right? Because it all comes back down to the, the slide that I showed earlier, right? Someone who, who has unrealized potential, who has the capacity to go down this path, who has the potential to be someone like Lamore Freed, who is an MIT engineer and started her own business in electronics. Or maybe she has the potential to be someone like Marissa Myers, who's the current CEO of Yahoo, but who studied systems design at Stanford and then later got her PhD in computer science. Right? Isn't that the type of, of people we want our, our students to become and aspire to be? Do we really want to leave that to chance? I really hope not. So I encourage you to check us out at gradfly, gradf.ly. We are uh, in New York. We are Aspire. We are the best portfolio platform for science, technology, engineering, and math students to showcase their most brilliant and amazing work. Thank you so much.